Hey guys, Baz here, giving you a 1 vs. 1 on Scrap Station, my all-time favorite map. Uh, once again, we have 64 as the red Protoss being... Wow, that okay. So I guess Bear Caverly... Ca yeah, I'm not going to... I guess Bear is being a, a jerk, so that sucks. Let's see, what is he? He is a t oh, he's a Terran player. Okay. Oh, we all know Terran players are jerks. All right. Anyway, uh, Bear Cav. I I can't even say Caverly. I'm sorry, guys. Bear is going to be the uh, blue Terran. So we're gonna see what what happened here. Uh, again, this is uh, from 64. Uh, he sent me a bunch of his uh, high platinum replays. So uh, thank you, 64, for uh, g giving me some games to cast. And we have a uh, odd supply depot coming uh, out here. He's not voting to wall off his base. I mean, you don't really need to with uh, Protoss, but it, it does help against the early uh, two to four gate rush. Um, it, it definitely can be uh, of usefulness. But, um, yeah, so Bear actually being smart and making sure that the Protoss player did not pro proxy pylon here. Uh, another one place that uh, is a very heavy proxy pylon is uh, here and right up here. So you really got to be watching out there for that when you play Zerg or even Terran. All right, they are both scouting. Um, this map, you don't really need to scout where their opponent is, but it's nice to see what your opponent is getting. All right, we got gas, gateway, and pylon going up. Just standard build. I mean, you really can't do much as a Protoss without a pylon, so you kind of have to build that first. Anyway, side topic, distracted. Yeah. The little, these things are so cool. I love these things. Anyway. All right, guys. Uh, barracks and barracks. So two barracks going up, or racks. You call. I like to call them barracks. It just sounds more professional. And I don't know. It's a pet peeve of mine when you'd be like, oh, racks. I don't know. All right. Yeah, I'm going to stop sidetracking and concentrate on what I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, all right. Cyber next core. So uh, this could be a proxy push. You never know. Uh, generally, if you see a gate, then a core, um, he's going to be going into higher tech or a proxy push because you want to get the warp gate out. The warp, warp, yeah, the warp gate, um, re being researched as soon as possible, so you can pop up a pylon and start warping units and kicking some major butt. But uh, they're he's not. I'm not sure what he's gonna do. So we're gonna see what he's gonna do. Um, double gas. So he's probably gonna go into higher tech since he's got double gas. Um, I mean, again, for Protoss, it's kind of standard to go double gas. He is getting a forge, so I can either maybe a cannon rush. Maybe? I mean, it's kind of late for a cannon rush, but you can still cannon rush, quote-unquote, and I don't know. We'll see. Uh, yes. Sentry. Okay. Um, 64 is is known for, I, I guess, doing sentries. Um, I've watched a few of his other replays that will be uh, I'll be casting and uh, just kind of posting, and I've seen him do getting sentries a lot, uh, but he... and uh, I'm, I'm not... Uh, I, it's it's kind of smart because you can wall off your uh, base with the force field just in case you get a six pool or something or maybe a reaper harass. But uh, yes, he he is uh, doing uh, kind of a defense or defense build here. I like that. It's kind of an interesting build. Um, another supply depot going down. He's kind of putting them in very odd spots, but hey, that's okay. Uh, kind of a wall off right there. Uh, right here needs to be walled off a little bit more because zealots can still run through here. Uh, let's see, what are, what is, kind of interesting builds from both players, really. Um, I mean, this is kind of standard for Protoss right here. I'll uh, put a pile in there, and then they have to run around and attack it. But, uh, he's still, he's got two more sentries, so I can only assume that he'll, uh, use a force field here and here and wall off so the cannon can, um, shoot things as they, as they try and run up the ramp. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, he, he is, he is higher attacking. So he's going from a, a one gate to a, star, to a core to a star gate, so, um... It's a fun build, um, but it, it's kind of an all-in type of thing because you don't have units that can take a lot of hits. Sentries don't have much shielding and HP, but they make up for it in their shields, and uh, he does have cans to back him up, so n not really a scary situation there, but uh, yeah. All right, so uh, I guess the Marines tried to break the rocks, and they didn't. I uh, got a kind of a proxy barracks, I guess. Um, probe unfortunately did go down no no he didn't go down he almost went down he had 15 uh, hp left so smart smart on there um still no uh nothing being produced from the stargate so uh, he uh, void rays void ray is going to go up that should be chrono boosted there we go and uh let's see we got a bunch of marines so um bear is going to try the classic terran 
lameness. I'm sorry, I'm not a huge fan of Terran players right now because they just kind of make me upset. But uh, I'm, so I'm sorry if I make you upset by bashing on Terran. But he's going to try the classic Mass Marine and I win type thing. So we're going to see if this actually works for him. Uh, it generally does if you do it quick enough. But since he has sentries, stalkers, and cannons, they're not going to be able to actually get up to his ramp or do anything really that effective. He really should be um, putting some... Uh, React. You should really should put a ra reactor there. That would make more sense. So you can pump out more uh, marines effectively. But uh, it looks like uh, factory. So he might be going uh, M M and M. Maybe that's marines, marauders, and medevacs. Uh, engineering bay. You don't honestly. I don't see many Terran players getting engineering bay unless they're really heavy on attacking and turtling. Um, so we're gonna see how this battle plays out, guys. One zealot for the meat shield. Uh, we have the shields upgraded, and those to impact. Yeah, uh, this force is pretty much gone. Uh, their cannons are there, pylon is there, pylon um, might be go down. No, it's not gonna go down. Uh, unfortunately, th yeah, that was that was a pretty pretty poor choice by Bear there. Um, it, yeah, what? okay, you could have saved that marine, but sure. All right, uh, this is cool too. Um, right here. Oh dang it! I forgot to turn off the camera thing again. I'm sorry, guys. That's the big thing I do. I forget to turn off the camera. This is cool because you can hide your units here, but you can't see anything out of the smoke and vice versa. Your opponents can't see you if you're actually in the smoke. So, uh, Void Array being uh, harassed here, and uh, Mineral Line is just being absolutely obliterated. Um, he, he does not have the force to take down any of this. <laughs> Bear is getting so... <laughs> that's game. Uh, and Bear got in... That, that's, that's, a, that's funny. Wow. Uh, unfortunately, there's a lot of StarCraft players that have uh, bad manners, and uh, they, they get very upset when they don't play the correct way, or, you know, th they blame someone else for their for their loss. But, uh, unfortunately, Bear just did not have the unit composition to uh, do anything. He was fast expanding, not fast expanding, excuse me, he was expanding high-yield uh, mineral. Um, cool. That, that really wasn't, I mean... Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm stumbling over myself again. But uh, good job, 64. Uh, good job on the uh, cannon placement. And uh, I really I really like your build order. Build order. I'm going to have to try that a couple games. I've actually not never tried this build order before. I usually go into two gates and then another three gate. And just to make sure I have enough defense just in case you get rushed early on. But uh, all right, guys, till next time, peace out.